This is Chris from thetraderguy.com taking a look at the upcoming 29th of March. I've got Aussie dollar in front of you, and I find this chart interesting on a multitude of levels. And this is exactly what I look for when I trade. I try to find as many reasons to be interested as possible. The first thing is that the daily candle came down and tested the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. The second thing, of course, is the 50-day moving average has acted as dynamic support. The third thing is that we have broken the top of the shooting star from the previous session. Now, I don't, we've got a couple hours before we close. I don't know if we'll close above there, but the fact that we pierced that shows signs of strength. And then finally on this chart, we have the 5100 and 200 day all uh, moving in a very nice fan. That shows you want to be long anyways uh, from a longer term perspective. So can I add another reason to be involved in this market? And that's the question uh, that you really have to start to pay attention to. So here I have the gold markets. Uh, the tertiary indicator of this trade, if you will, is if we could make a fresh high, I think we probably will eventually. And typically these markets, one tends to lead the other in the appropriate direction. So if we can break above 12.62 in the gold market, I'm a buyer of the Aussie. Uh, the Aussie, I would be a buyer on a break of the top of the candle which for now is 76.52. So uh, I'm a buyer at uh, 76.55 and I'm aiming for 77.50. I would have a relatively tight stop loss at about 0.76. This is gonna be volatile. This is gonna be a lot of chop uh, above. If the oil markets, or oil markets, excuse me, if the gold markets break out significantly, then we could get a little bit of acceleration. But this is a very bullish candle. This tells us that the sellers aren't really able to stick with it. So I do believe upsides where we go.